Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is the February Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. And I just got it in the mail today. And this morning, I went on the Silver Silk website and I ordered the Silver Silk um, pipe chains that he made. Not just pipe chain, but the, the leather chain um, that were made to go with this. And like the designs that he's already come up with, I looked at him and I kind of spoiled myself, but I don't mind spoilers. It just makes me more excited. So I was opening this, like I opened up the tape and then I was like, no, don't open the box yet, Peggy. Wait until you get your silver silk. But you know what? I can't wait. So I'm going to open it now and we're going to sort it into my organizer and then I can get more excited about it. And when my silver silk gets here, I can pop on the camera for like three minutes and be like, this is the silver silk and add it to my video. And then I can upload it because when there's like an official reveal date, I usually wait until after then to do my um, unboxing and organizing videos. And they have one for this month. So we're going to wait to post this until then. So that means I can get into it and I can start having ideas and I can start being excited about this now. So like, I'm just so happy, by the way, like, I, I know that this is going to be awesome because I already saw some of the things that are in there on the Silver Silk website. So like, ah, oh man, Magical Mystery Bead Box is back, baby. It is back. <laughs> oh, look at this. La Dolce Vita looks like Santorini. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Tomato Girl Summer Bead Strand. Oh, this is just what we need in the middle of winter. La Dolce Vita bead mix, Amalfi Gardens bead mix, Mediterranean Lemonade Mini bead mix, Santorini Beach bead mix, Basket Weaving in Rome bead mix. Oh, oh Barcelona Sun's Up. Look, I just, I cannot wait. On the Vine Gold Chain, Leather Cord with End Findings. This is going to be so, ah, uh, so great. Okay, so yeah, this is February 21st. Uh, oh, geez, that's tomorrow, actually. Um, they're going to do a create-a-thon featuring the bold flight. So maybe I won't be popping back onto here with my things before I upload it. But just know that there are some silver silk pipe chains and leather cord, and I have already ordered them. And this is going to be so great. I am really excited about opening this. <gasps> Look at the colors. Oh, you know what? I'm really glad. I'm glad that I got more of that, like, red coral, um, uh, sil or, sorry, soft flex wire, because, like, that is absolutely the perfect color of wire to use with this red, this tomato-y red. Ah, uh, take a look at that. Look at these little ceramic chickens. They are so beautiful. Look at that. Homegrown tomatoes. And we've seen this bead before, this lampwork bead, in some of the other boxes um, and in some other bead mixes, but I don't mind because it's a fantastic bead. And it goes great with a lot of things. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Check these out. Okay, so this is the Tomato Girl Summer Strand. We are full of beads. Not beans, beads. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is got to be the On the Vine Gold Chain. Oh, you guys. Look how it sparkles. Look how it shines. I'm just gonna do this for like 10 minutes. I hope you don't mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will stop eventually, I promise. This, oh, there are so many things you could do with this. So many amazing things. This is amazing. You know what I want? I wanna buy this in like every color of metal that's out there. I want this like in electroplated rainbows. I want this. In yeah, Jesse James Beads, if you can do something about that, that would be amazing. Amazing. I, I love this chain. Oh boy, that chain is beautiful. Okay, so here's our leather cord, and we've got some little ends that we can use. This cord has a shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is not just a tan cord. It is a tan cord with like this pearlescent shimmer on it. Can you see that? It's 
like spun gold or something. Ooh, ooh, look, this is our basket weaving in Rome mix. Okay, you guys, there's so many, so many beads. Uh, see, this is this is what Jesse James Beads does. They tell you a story. They give you an experience. They tell you, you know, make you feel it. Mediterranean lemonade. We're gonna we're gonna be sorting through some bead mixes in a little bit. I'm just unboxing right now. Let's pull all these out. We've got the Amalfi Gardens. Oh, look at all of those green and growing things. Then we've got the La Dolce Vita. Oh, you, is that the way you spell Dolce? I don't know. Looks like we've got some more of those warm reds, but then we've got some oranges and some creams for the, the Dolce, for the sweet. And these look like really cool findings. These little kind of beaten metal things. We'll pull that out and look at that. Do, oh, Barcelona Sunset. Wait, wait. Barcelona isn't in Italy. Bar Barcelona's in Spain, but these are gorgeous. You know what? You could add beads along each of these because you've got some spaces in there. These are fantastic findings. And then we've got our Santorini Beach. Yes! Gorgeous. All right, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't want to toss this and have like some something at the bottom okay so we are empty let's no 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 you don't go back in there that's not where you belong you belong in a different box eight here we go so bead mixes bead strands let's get the chain in here I'm going to put these findings right in here at the front. And then these guys look like they are a little bit on the large side. So I am going to be making some space for some of these. But I'm going to just take a minute so we can take a look at all of that. It has this cool, these, um, these beads have some this cool finish on them. This is this is pretty cool. And it's got a little hole at the bottom so you can have dangles from there. You could maybe even bead around the edge on the top too. And maybe bead around there to add some extra things to it. There we go. Yep, that will fit in there when it is bent over like that. I'm just gonna make this fit in here. It's okay. It'll fit. It'll fit. Uh, it almost looks like a pizza from far away. Anyway, <laughs> we're on to food again. All right. And these guys are some bigger beads. So I'm going to pull them out of here as well. Oh my, I thought, I didn't realize that these, I thought this was like a couple of strands of beads. These are not. There are four of these guys. These, these are chonkers. Yes, they are chonkers. Let's get this guy in here. Got two of those with the baskets. Do you know, my mom um, collected miniature baskets for years and years and years and years. Um, she had a little curio cabinet that she would keep her miniature baskets on. Like when 
she'd go somewhere and their little, you know, gift shops of things, um, she'd get some miniature, ba miniature baskets. I got her some when I lived in Malaysia to bring back, um, to keep on there. But there was this point in time when she had so many miniature baskets and these have two holes on the ends. Oh, these are so cool. She had so many, you know what you could do is you could even like add beads through these holes. There's a, there's a lot of things, ways that you can do stuff with these. I'm going to figure out how to get that, those in there later. Oh, and these are woven. Anyway, so one year for Christmas, me and my stepdad made her a new curio cabinet because she had so many baskets, they were overflowing from the curio cabinet. And that was one of my favorite Christmases because he and I worked together in with his wood tools and everything. And I took wood shop in um, junior high, so I had some experience with it already. But it was just really cool to work with him and to learn from him like some more carpentry things. Um, so that we could make that for her. She was so surprised too. She was like, she did not expect that. And that was, that's, that's one of my favorite, favorite memories was making that curio cabinet for her miniature baskets. And that's what that is making me think of. And look at this tomato charm, you guys. This is so adorable. I want, I want like 10 more of these. I swear. All right. So I am just going to pull apart this strand We've got both of these ceramic beads. They are folksy and artsy and just super fun beads. And then we've got this lampwork bead with the flowers all around it. Those are some specialty beads. And we've got these red marbly beads with like a crackle finish. We have a couple of these aren't rondelles they're shaped ro like rondelles but the hole goes top to bottom so they're more like fat coin beads with a side that has a matte finish while the rest of it is faceted these are cool these are really interesting beads and then we've got some bronze bead caps with some big spacey loops and a couple of these deep um, bead caps. Oh my goodness, look. Put this on one of these guys and it looks like a tomato. That was good planning, guys. Good planning. Oh, and then these drops have that shimmery coating on the outside. And we've got some clay spacers. They are all earthy and lovely. All right, so that is the bead strand. Let's open up the Dolce Vita. Oh, there we go. And these were those findings that I was like, ooh, let's take a look at those. Looks like we have a flower embossing on it, but it's just one-sided. The other side is goes through like that. These are really cool charms, drops. And then we've got a couple of these opaque orange beads, but the glass has these swirls in it, which is kind of cool. And then we've got some translucent orange beads that have, they are like, it's not an octagon, but it's kind of, maybe, I don't know, but they're, they're kind of squat, but the, uh, the hole goes from top to bottom on these. All right, now we've got some more red beads. So I'm going to be adding these to my red beads over here. We've got a ton. Actually, let's just spill these out because it'll make it a lot easier for me to get them out if they're not in there anymore. So we've got it's like six of these beads. Unless I'm counting wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, nope. Six. And these are kind of a 
more browny red, kind of an earthy red, not as bright bright as these, but they still have a warm tone to them. They're kind of like a carnelian color. And there's like a little bit of faceting on them. I bet that's what they are. I bet these are carnelian beads. All right, and then we've got these that aren't quite red, but they're like a warm orangey pink. They're kind of a coral color, actually. This is a very coral color. We've got six of these small coin shaped ones that have those diagonal faceting across the coin face, and then four of these rondelles. And they're kind of corally. I'm gonna put them with the reds just because. All right, and then we've got our bead caps that have some little tiny leaves like this. And there are several of these guys. These tiny bead caps. And then we've got our larger filigree bead caps. with our big points. I'm gonna put these over here with these other gold bead caps. And then we've got some bronze bead caps. And these ones have points instead of the roundy edges. And they're a little bit smaller than these other ones too. But I am gonna put them together with the bronze guys. We've got some fasted beads. They've got kind of a larger hole in them. I wonder if these would fit on the leather that we've got. Let me find out. Let's see. Because they do have a larger hole than I'm used to seeing, and they do. They fit really well on this leather. They are perfect for it. In fact, these fasted beads, they're kind of a gold color. Um, I don't know where to exactly put them yet, but I will figure it out. And then we've got some brown beads. And these are like simple cut which is one of my favorite cuts. These are like um, Coke in a glass. Not quite as brown as root beer, but more, more Cokey colored. But a glass with like a little bit of the ice has melted, so it's not as deep of a color. Yeah. All right, so then we've got some cream colored barrel beads and we've got some champagne colored rondelles. I'm going to go ahead and scooch these guys together. And now we've got our Amalfi Gardens and these are taped closed. But yeah, I was I was thinking about waiting to do this until I got my silver silk, but I just, I couldn't wait. I wanted to see what was in here. I was so excited about this bead box. Uh, everything that I love about Jesse James beads is happening for me right now, just so that you know. Everything that makes me happy about them. <gasps> Look at these really cool beads. They are super lightweight but they have so much texture and interest in them. These would be fantastic in earrings because they're so lightweight. It's like this coiled cord that was glued around the outside of a bead. They are really cool. I love this green too. It's like an olivey green. And then this is more of a minty green and the finish on it is more like this stardust finish where it's not really matte it has these little points of light in it 
Alright, so let's get some more of these guys out here. We've got some, it looks like these are Miracle Beads guides. And Miracle Beads are usually um, acrylic beads. So they are also very lightweight, but one of the cool things about them is the way that they look in the light, because like the acrylic, um, there's that distance between the outside of it and where the color is on the inside. Um, it just gives it this kind of effervescent shine, not effervescent, but it's, it's a shimmer. There's, so, there's stuff inside of it. It makes it interesting to look at. And these are also kind of an olive green color. Oh boy, and then we've got some like aqua colored. Ooh, these are two-toned. Look at that. We've got like this darker blue and then this creamy white on the other side. And there are three of these guys. And these are also two-toned. So you've got that same blue that we have here but then on the other side of it, we have this like golden green shimmer. And these are more of those diagonal faceted coins that I just love these. I'm gonna stick them with here. And we have six rondelles. I'm gonna stick them over here with this guy. And it's entirely possible that I'll put all my greens together but I don't know yet. We've got a couple toggles, guys. All right. This mix came with some clasps. So here's two toggles. And it looks like the toggles have some leaves and flowers on them. And we've got some leaf spacers. Would you believe it? <laughs> These are pretty cool. They've got some heft to them. And then we've got some large hole spacers that are kind of chonky on the outside. And you know what? These will fit great on here. But you know what they'll also fit really great on, I think, is some silver silk. Do I have some leather? I've got some pipe chain here. Mm-hmm. And if they fit on the pipe chain, they will fit on all of the other silver silk findings or chains. So these will be great for making with that when that gets here. Um, these also, these spacers also have larger holes and I believe they will also fit really great on silver silk. Let me pull out my pipe chain again. I just had some next to my desk. That's all. I, I wasn't, this isn't the pipe chain that came with, that comes with it. Although it wouldn't be a bad, wouldn't be a bad match for it. All right, so these are a bit of a tight fit on the pipe chain, but I bet they would fit really great on the leather cord, the leather chain, and possibly also on the, um, the capture chain. Okay, it's fine. My shelf is just throwing things at me. I'll, I will promise to put things on better for you next time. All right, so it looks like we've got some spacers that have um, like a Greek key. Hold on guys, there we go. Pattern along the outsides of it here. And then these swirls on these spacers. And then these spacers are really cool. Look at these flowers. Right there on the outsides of them. Uh, that is a fantastic mix of findings in that one. Now we've got our Santorini Beach.
This is amazing. If you are tired of winter, this is like such a great, such a great reprieve. All the blues and whites. Here we go. All right, so it looks like we've got two different colors of the Rondell spacers. We have one with the blue rhinestones and one with clear rhinestones. We've got some of both. I will have to find that on the floor in a minute. We can wait until we're done here. It looks like we have a hefty dose of both of these. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to scoop up all of these silver findings. Actually, the clasps are going in here. Because that's where my end caps went. But I'm going to scoop up these silver findings. And I'm going to just stick them right in here. So they are out of Zue. All right, we've got two big blue rondelles. These are like a deep Noxima blue. And then we've got some light. These are sky blue squares that are fasted. The hole goes right through the middle of the square. We've got some bicones. One, two, three, four. We've got eight of these. And they are not a dark blue, but they are not a light blue either. They're like just a true blue. And we've got some, these are, they feel like polymer clay. And they look like it too. But they have this really, really pretty marbling, this blue and white marbling on these. And then we've got some lava beads. There are four of these. They're white. And some smaller, darker blue bicones. I'm going to stick these over here with this guy. You know, the blues may end up going together. I'm going to put these guys over here with the creams. And then I've got these very small, they're rondelle size. Put those over here with these guys. I like to separate them by colors. All right, I'm almost done sorting and then we can put them away in this after we get out our Mediterranean <gasps> Look at that. Look at these enamel charms. There is front side and back side for these charms. I'm going to stick those right here, actually. And then we've got a few other additional charms. Look at these. There are four of these, actually. And there's a little crystal inside of here and then these little leaf crystals on the other side so this is the back of it you can see the setting that holds that crystal in there and then there's the front of it these are super cute oh my goodness oh my goodness here we go I'm, I'm, I'm sticking this I'm sticking my my tomato over here with my other fruit because a tomato is a fruit guys it's a fruit and then we've got some really bright lemon yellow beads. These these are very yellow. These are like the kind of yellow that my son likes. He likes the brightest, most eye-violating yellows you've ever seen. And then we've got some mustardy yellows. That will bridge the gap between these yellows and those oranges. And these really, really light yellow beads. They're like, this is this is the lemonade. This is the limoncello right here. Right here. We've got some of these 
cube beads, but these cube beads have the hole going diagonally, which I love it when that happens. They're like dice. And then they have a matte finish, except for where they've had like, it's kind of like a table cut on those ends. This is a really cool bead. I love those. And then we've got some more faceted coin beads. And these have the diagonal fasting that you know I love. So we've got some of these. And they are all that really, really light yellow color. That lemonade color. Ooh, we've got some gold spacers. And they're just some daisy spacers. I'm going to stick these guys over here with the bead caps. And then we've got these bright blue beads and they are lampwork beads it looks like oh and that's the way that they go they look like eyeballs oh you know what i could do i could make some um weird little guys with these little eyeball beads that would be really cool weird little guys all right and then we've got some teeny tiny rondelles that are again this really really light bright blue i'm gonna stick these guys together i think these guys are gonna go together maybe you can go hang out with these guys nope you're not the the right kind of blue for that all right i'm not super into segregation guys but i kind of like them to be together where they're they 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 can hang out nicely together all right, these are some drops, so I'm gonna put them in here with these other ones. These are connectors. I'm going to put my gold spacers here. And I might put these guys in here just because I can't figure out where else to put them. And then we've got our bronze guys right next to them. All right, this is a large bead. It is gonna go right there next to my baskets and so are these guys. Perfect. All right. Now, do I wait to find a place for the... Let's put our blues in. Blues, 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 actually maybe. Yeah, blues, we'll put you guys up here along the top. And then reds, I'm gonna stick you guys right here. oranges and the yellows are gonna hang out together they're very citrusy they can be citrusy together and let's get our lime greens next to the oranges and yellows Whoop. Ooh. and creams. You all are going here. There, there are too many beads. This is not a problem, guys. It's not a problem, I promise. Now what I might do is combine these guys with these guys. With their eyeballs. I'm definitely going to make some weird little guys because I've got a little eyeball beads and then just our greens are all going to go together. Ooh. All right. And now I will find a way to fit this guy in here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. One of those guys. All right. So then we've got our cord. We are ready to go. I'm just going to spread these out a little bit for my last look. These are bendy. They're bendy. Uh, 
Yes. These are so great. All right. Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. This was the February bead box. And I am, I, I love it. I love everything about it. I especially, especially love this chain. I just, like I said, I'm going to need this in like every color of metal if I can. Um, I'm going to need this in colors that don't exist. Um, I love, love, love this. I'm just, I need to make a wig out of this and wear it and have it just sparkle while I'm walking down the street. Um, yeah, I love this. This is my favorite part of it. <laughs> this is really great. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I am definitely going to be making a full set of jewelry with this later this month. I've got other things planned for this week, but, but later this month, we're going to be doing this and we'll do it together. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye.